What is up, everybody? This is your boy Eden coming at you with the Midtown Brigade playoff round and championship game reaction. That's right. Monday, January 3rd. Championship is over. I'm not going to give you who won just yet. I'm going to leave that for the end. You probably don't know anyway who did anyway. At least in my league, everybody knows. But I'm going to bring it to the, whoever listens to this podcast and who has been following this week-to-week recap of my fantasy league, the fantasy league I belong to, my big money league, one of the best leagues in the world, the Midtown Brigade, baby, classic. Just like a gentleman bringing you the playoff reaction. And we're starting with the first round. I went ahead against Garbage, against New Era 8. <clears throat> Y'all know, your boy started the year. I was brought in five games into, replaced an owner, got into a nice hot streak, but then the wheels came off the wagon and your boy went on a four game winning losing streak, right? Limped into the playoffs, seven and seven record. Got outscored like in the last two games of the season by almost 50 points per game. And here I am facing the highest scoring team in the league, second best record, new era at 10 and four, who in the last previous two games, this cat has almost, has combined for almost 400 points. One of those games going over 200 points. I mean, can you talk about underdog and a complete mismatch? Honestly, I came into this game thinking may have a shot. But in fantasy football, there's a couple of things that always happens. Usually the individual like myself who's limping in, who has a team that could score but has been struggling lately and goes against the Goliath, the guy that puts up all the points in the world. There's always a, an omen. It's called the upset brewing. And at one point, I got to win. Something's got to give. And the guy that's been dropping points and lighting it up, lighting that scoreboard like a Christmas tree, has to come down to earth. That's what happened. Man, it was a blessing in disguise because Kamara did not show up. And that was against uh, against Tampa Bay. Ugly game. We knew it was going to be tough, both defenses. Edmonds came back, his first game back, took a shit on the bed. Uh, Godwin goes out with an injury. Uh, Kittle had a normal game. Herbert had his normal game, but I'm telling you, the fact that Jefferson did not show up and only got me 14 points, that was huge. Jefferson had been averaging like almost 25 a game the last previous two games. And at the end of the day, you know, I didn't have great performances. Practically, Burrow had 19 points and then Lamb had 11. Debo has been solid all year, 18 points, but it came down to Monday night. Even though Chubb gave me 16 points, it was still not that great. I was down by 10 and a half, by 10 and, by 10 and a quarter coming Monday night. All I needed was Goddard to average, to score his average is 10.6, and I, and I would have a win, a narrow win. But Goddard came through with 21 and a half points, and I upset the great new era. I know. I've been upset before. I've been in that seat before. And trust me, it sucks. Great for me, sucks for him. But in fantasy football, there's always an omen. Sometimes a team that puts up a lot of points has to go cold at one point in the season, and it happens to be the beginning of the playoffs. It's crazy about fantasy football. It's one game in, one game out. Trust me, I think if it had been the best out of five, I would have lost four to one, three to one. But move on to the second round. Your boy took out the highest scoring team in the league, took out the second best record, one of the hottest team in the league, and um, it was a narrow ver- uh, victory. I didn't put it, still didn't pull out a point because I've been averaging about 130, 120 something the last four games of the season. So took down the big dog, moved on to the second round. The other game we want to look at in the first round was. Uh, Team Cruz and cut my balls. Team Cruz has been hot as of late. He started the season 0-4, made the playoffs, been putting up points like crazy. And this is such a, such a look at the narrow victory, man. 112.1 against 111.7. Cup only needed either a 25-yard pass from Stafford or 25 more yards from Stafford. He needed a 10-yard rush by Penny because he had all these players going for him. He had, he had um, all these players going for him. He had Penny, Stafford, um, what's what you call it? He had Cup, who thirty-five points. Cup was a huge game there. He just needed something. He just needed one more reception. I mean, and I think uh, Henderson went out. He needed something, and and just one reception. He needed one reception from either Henderson, Penny, ten yards from Penny, ten yards from Henderson. One more reception from Cup. Another twenty-five passing yards for Stafford, and this game would have been over. Actually, more like twelve and a half. Heartbreaking loss for Cup, and I know he. He probably hurt. He was probably hurting. But again, Team Cruz has been hot. Really brought it home with Taylor again and Josh Allen at the helm, who's been giving him all these wins all year long. 
Evans went down with an injury. Renfro had a quiet night for once. And everything else is just shit. You know what I mean? But man, cut my balls. Heartbreaking. I think you it sucks to get to lose like this than getting blown out. When you know you almost had it at the grasp of your hands. You know what I'm saying? Cupping cupping that win. He almost had he almost had those balls cupped in, in the dude's face, man, in Team Cruz's face. Almost almost did that gorilla style slam dunk with balls in your face on Tim Cruz. But Tim Cruz said, Hell nah, baby. Cruz is here to win. I'm going to the next round. Rough game, real heartbreaking for Cub, but real riveting and uh, glorious for uh, Team Cruz. Now, me and Cruz made it to the next round, and we're both facing the uh, division winners. In round two, I am facing uh, Mr. Um, Maximus, MFX, I don't even know the Roman numerals anymore. And uh, Team Cruz is facing, actually, his older brother, Bring It. By the score, you see there was no contest again at one point my team is going to have to start scoring after a four game losing streak to end the season limping the playoffs upsetting the higher scoring team in the league in round one you know my guys going to start scoring and let me tell you something joe money burrows did it with 56 points chase who's been struggling dropped the 20 points i started robinson because that was a smash player I, i i went against my gut I'm glad it didn't backfire because Mixon and my bench had 31 points. All right. And still, with Lamb, Debo, Chubb, and Burroughs, I had a decisive win over Maximus, division winner, who struggled to put puts a point on the board all year long. And when that happens, you're usually not going to get to where you need to go. But anyway, I still did my thing. Joey B, Joey Money, who came out big again, had a huge, huge game, let my team with 50 points. Joe Burrow's becoming the number one player in this league right now in the playoffs. The number one performer so far in the playoffs has been Joe Money Burrows, baby. And I was able to take Maximus decisively. Moving on to Tim Cruz. Again, no contest. <laughs> Team Bring It, defending champ, did not bring it. Did not even decided to show up because slept at the wheel with Connor. Connor got hurt. The man didn't change him. I don't know what happened there. He's a veteran. He's a like a four-time, you know, four-time champ, baby. Four-time champ. And he looked more like a rookie. Waddle had a huge game. Andrews instead of uh, Mahomes. But Team Cruz's team was 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 there to bring it. Uh, Taylor had a rough game. But the fact that Harris had three rushing touchdowns, that was huge. And, of course, Allen had a huge game against New England, who needed that, actually. So Allen brought it in. Everybody else he had, almost everybody else over double figures, uh, and that just took it away because apart from Mahomes, man, and Waddle and Andrews, that James Conner move there hurt him a lot. Hurt him a lot. And you know what? Good pickup by Ronald Jones putting Rojo in there. But, hey, you know, it's just not enough. I mean, it was just a bad day for Minnesota, period. Because look at uh, Thielen. Did not show up. Neither did Jefferson that week. So, look, it happened. Look at uh, look at uh, Team Cruz upsetting Baby Bro and defending Champ, who is one of the most – Tim Brinker is the most successful – team in the history of the Midtown Brigade. He's won it more than anybody in the league. I think it's like he's won it like four or five times. I'm not sure about that number, but he's the most successful team and champ in the history. This guy wins leagues all over the place. He wins leagues here, other leagues. I mean, this guy has so much money already banked up in first places that, you know, he makes Donald Trump look like Donald Trump. But congrats to Team Cruz who made it to the finals against your boy, Garbage Man. And even though today is Monday, January 3rd, and the finals are still going on, we got to discuss this matchup because it's pretty much already over. The championship is... Tim Cruz against Garbage Man. And uh, your boy didn't have to wait until tomorrow to claim his championship. Actually, after the, by 4.30 p.m., I had the game locked. All thanks to Joey Money Burrows and Jamar Beast Chase. Look at the stat. You have... Burrows with 55 points, back-to-back 50-plus games. Best player in the playoffs, in the fantasy football playoffs by far. Regardless of Nick Chubb only giving me three and a half points, well, he's actually he's still playing, I'm sorry. Mixon had a quiet 15 and a half. Lamb, eight and a one. Goddard, 13, 18. It doesn't matter because I had over 100 points. 100, I had about 120 points, I think, based on, I can't even add this much right now. It's like almost over 120 points from Burrows, Mixon, and Chase. That's all I needed. I mean, at the end of the day, Cruz put up a great fight, 148 points. This would have been a really close game. If it wasn't for Burroughs putting out 55 and Chase 63, I probably would have lost this series. 
no doubt about it. Because right now, if you take their averages, I either I'll be down by 20, I either be down by 20 or down by 10, 15, depending on, on Nick Chubb to get me the W. But your boy was a, was a champ, the champ for this year's league. I mean, Joey, Joey Money Burrows, baby, brought it home, back-to-back 50-plus -back games is all I got to say. And uh, your new champ, 2021 Midtown Brigade Fantasy Football League, your boy, Garbage Man. Made us come back to the league after, what, like four or five years when I left originally. Now I'm back and I'm here to stay. Coming back next year to repeat my run. In the words of this overrated backseat basketball player that takes a backseat to Michael Jordan, LeBron James, yes, that's his name. I want my damn respect. And I'm coming for everybody again next year. Great year. Enjoy playing in the league. Looking forward to next season. The champ is here. Your boy E-Man, Garbage Man owner, out. The champ is here!